Hey guys, I wanted to do a little hair tutorial today because one of the questions I got asked the most frequently when I worked in TV news was, how do you do your hair? How do you get these big, bouncy, natural looking curls? Well, I want to let you in on a little secret. This, hot rollers. You might think that these are old fashioned, but I guarantee you they work wonders. So I've got them heated up and I always start in the middle here. So you're gonna to wanna to take a small section of your hair and brush it up. This is where the, the rollers come into two sizes. There's a big and there's a small. The big one is this black. Those are the ones you want to start with. And you pull it down, I wanna make sure you can see here. Roll it around and tuck that nicely and you're secured. What They give you two options to secure it. I like the kits that come with these pins. Some also come with the hair clips. I don't find those work as well. They give you a little bit of a dent in your hair. So these are the best. This first one, because I have so much hair, I tend to have to use two of these. So you pin one on this side, and then you pick up the next, and you pin that, tuck this hair here pin that on the other side. This first one for me is always the hardest because it's the biggest section of hair. So it doesn't look real great, but don't worry, it will function. So after I do this first one, we move to the back. You take a small section like this, small section, brush it up, and you grab another one of these, the big rollers, and again, tuck that end underneath to secure it and you roll, roll, roll down. Look for your big clip. On the second one, I only need one of these. And you pin it just like so. After we have the two first pieces, this is when I switch to the smaller size. So you brush your hair out again. I'm going to grab the smaller size hot roller and this is what I want to kind of give you those spiral curls on the side. So you take a small section here, brush it out, make sure it's smooth, grab your hot roller. And I do this out to the side and you very carefully want to tuck that end underneath, make sure it's secured by your other hair and you roll that into place. Grab your pin, stick it behind and snug that up and it should stay. Then I move backwards Okay, so now you have your curlers in, it's time to add a little finishing spray to make sure this sets. I use this Tresemme hairspray. This is Tresemme number four, extra hold. It's kind of a cult favorite among women that work in news. If you go to any station bathroom, there's a good chance you will see three or four cans of this because it works, it's cheap, you can get it at Target, you can get it at your local drugstore. It's a lifesaver because it offers a superb hold. So I'm pretty generous with the hairspray because I want this style to last all day. So you just cover it, spray it all over, and then you're good to go. Once I have these in, I go about the rest of my morning routine. I will have some coffee, I'll finish my makeup. So you want to be somewhat careful when you're taking this out so you don't ruin that nice curl that you've achieved. So unwrap it carefully, trying to keep that curl intact. And usually when I pull these out, I want to spritz each individual piece and you move around your head doing the same thing. Again, keeping your curl as intact and in the right direction as possible. Now, as I'm taking these out, you can probably see how this is giving me some volume and it's also smoothed out all of the extra frizziness that tends to be so prevalent in my hair. So if you're somebody who has slightly naturally wavy hair, if it tends to get frizzy and dry, you will love hot rollers. They have been a lifesaver. I've used them for many, many years and I will never stop. So once we have all of this out, um, you're gonna want to start 
directionally placing your curls where you want them to go. While I've been doing everything else, I've had my curling wand getting hot. I use this Conair brand. I'll have a link to that um, underneath this post in my blog. I absolutely love this curling wand. So now for the finishing touches here. I have to take this top piece and make sure that my part is where I want it to go. So we will add our part there. And what I like to do if I'm on air is I do a little bit of back combing just to give this the, the body and shape I want. On an everyday basis, I probably wouldn't do this if I'm just running errands, if I'm going to the mall, um, not really necessary. But if I'm on air, I definitely want to add this. So I grab this small section um, right here from the back. You'll take your comb, you'll brush that up, and then just do a little bit of back combing here. You don't need a lot, it's just a teeny boost. Then I grab my hairspray, a little spritz. Make sure that you give this a second to kind of dry. I'll just kind of shake that out. Place your hair so that you cover um, any of that frizziness and make sure that it's smoothed out as much as possible. Then I start to move to the front and I wanna make sure these front two pieces are all going in the area I want them to stay. So I just touch up the bottom only around the bottom, you're gonna hold this for maybe five, six seconds. Okay, you let that out. And then you move around your head doing the same thing, looking for those places where that curl might be going a little wonky, you wanna fix it. So this front piece I spend a little bit more time with because I want to make sure it's laying exactly just so. So I want to train that curl to go away from my face, just barely wrap it around the bottom of the curling wand. Okay, we've worked our way around our entire head now. You can see you've got these big bouncy curls. The very last thing that I do when I'm preparing to go on air is make sure that this is as natural looking as possible. So since I've hairsprayed this, I just brush it out a little bit to kind of soften up those curls, brush it out the whole way, and then I will put those curls back together and separate them one more time. And voila, you are done. So sometimes I'll do one last finishing touch of hairspray, but we're done.